Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of the dirty sides of aquaponics. These videos are brought to you in part by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are TrueAquaponics.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, GlassBottleOutlet.com, and GrowPockets.com. Thanks for your support! So this is sort of an impromptu video. Originally I wasn't even going to film this because it's sort of a, one of those shameful parts of aquaponics, but I figured it's uh, important to show everybody uh, some things that can go wrong uh, with your systems. Uh, this is one of my media beds and when I originally set it up I didn't have any uh, filtration of the solids uh, going into it. So it's essentially all clogged up. Um, this system is designed to have six beds total and for the first year or so I only had one in it. I just never had time to put the other ones in. And then last year um, I had overplanted this with a whole bunch of butternut squash and the whole bed became root bound. In fact, it was so bad that the uh, water couldn't get from one end uh, to the other and I had to dig a channel uh, through the top of it so that the uh, water could uh, get from the uh, input to the drain. So this is what I've removed so far. This side has a bunch of strawberry plants in it and I was really procrastinating having to do this. Uh, but uh, it has to come out so the strawberries are all going to get replanted into the other bed on the other side that I'm working on. So here's my channel that I had dug. I have plenty of fungus gnats in here too. And then it goes over uh, to the drain over here. This is a pretty good profile of the media bed. You can see up top we have the dry layer and then uh, the roots of the existing strawberry plants are in here. And as I'm digging through it, there's still some rotten roots uh, from the butternut squash. And then as we get down to the bottom area, everything is just completely covered with this muck. The uh, red wigglers have done a pretty good job breaking everything down, but uh, they just can't get everything out uh, quickly enough. And then the uh, bottom a little bit, this water settled out a little bit. There's about an inch of water left in here. But if I stir it up, you can see all the, the sediment that's still in here. So I'm going to try to get most of this uh, cleared out. You can see on the side here, there's a whole bunch of root mass that's left over and just tons of uh, dirt now that's in here. So the whole process is fairly straightforward. It's just remove everything, clean it, and put it all back. So. There are tons of red wiggler worms in here. You can see there's a couple right in here. And they've gotten fairly large. So I just chuck them into the other bed. So the roots are in pretty good shape. There's almost no rot on them at all. This is a, a different plant here. I think it's a newer one. So I'll pull that off. This will recover. There's some new root growth in there. This is one of the original plants. It's quite large and has many splits that I can take out of it. And then we'll just scoop a whole bunch of this right out of here. Yeah, when I happen to see a red wiggler in here, I'll pull them out and save them from the washing. And I just, I'll just toss them in the other bed and they'll find their way into the darkness very quickly. So the lifesaver to this whole project is my cement mixer conversion I did. I'll post a link to that video on this where basically it is now a washing machine and I pre-fill it with a little bit of water and dump my stones in. And crank it on. And then add a little more water to it. I'm 
almost every time I rinse I also have to clean off the screen because there's so many roots in here they just clog up as they wash out of the system. So this is a horribly tedious job if I didn't mention it earlier. And not everybody likes to have media beds. I happen to like them for my strawberries. I would not do things like lettuce or anything. I'd stick to deep water culture. But essentially the long-term plants, I like to do that. It really was a, a mistake to uh, do the butternut squash in here because it was just so aggressive. And the roots just took over everything. It just wrecked everything in here. One interesting thing is I have the same media beds in the dome greenhouse and those have been in there for eight years and I've never had to clean them out. So it's really just uh, I attribute this to the heavy load of uh, solids going into it. Even after rinsing it out I don't get everything out of here but for the most part most of the finer particles are out of the system. This is nothing compared to what used to uh, be on this stone. So I probably have a full day's worth of digging this out. I've been at this one for a couple of hours now and I'm only about a third of the way done. So the rest of the day I'll spend doing this. I'll probably run out of time today even. So that's about it. One of the dirty little secrets of aquaponic growing. Um, I've been at this for about two hours now and I'm about a third of the way done if that and I still need to clean all the sludge out of the bottom so I'll be at this for the rest of the day and probably working on it uh, tomorrow too. So thanks for watching and hopefully we have more exciting things to show you next time around. Thanks!